create super realistic portraits with stable diffusion. Today I have a model for you that can create absolutely amazing portraits that look like real photos in different styles, in different ages, in different clothings, absolutely perfect and to be honest, you can also create people without clothing. So if you don't want to have that, add non safe for work to the negative prompt. Now there is a difference between using it in these two tools. The benefit in automatic 1111 is that you can also load the in paint model. And I didn't find that to work in invoke AI. Now, when we go over to Invoke AI, you can load that model if it is in the Pickle Tensor version and it creates absolutely amazing portraits. Now, you can use it as is, just as the CKPT file, but you can also use it in combination with the VAE file and then the portraits get even better. Absolutely mind blowing. This looks like a real photo. Let me show you how to load this. So first of all, you have to go to the Civit AI website to the model page that I've linked below. And over here, you do have a download link, but this is actually for the in paint version. So don't be tricked by that. You want to scroll down here where you have the versions and click on the version 1.3. And then here on the right side, you have download links. Now from that, you want to use the pickle tensor version because that works both in automatic 1111 and invoke AI and you want to download this. For stable diffusion, you're going to download this into your stable diffusion folder into the models folder and in there into the stable diffusion folder with all of your other models. Now that is good enough for automatic 1111 to work, but for invoke AI, we need to load that. So you go over here to the model manager, click on that. You click on add new and you want to add the location of the automatic 1111 models stable diffusion folder in here and then click here on scan again. Then down here you have the models you want to load. So you want to select them from the list and then click add selected. Now, after you've done this, and this is a very important step, you want to search here for the model. So type re for real, select the realistic vision model. And in here, you want to add the VAE location. Now, where do you have that? Inside of your Invoke AI folder, you go to models, then you go to LDM, to stable diffusion v1 and there you have the VAE CKPT file. Right click on that, copy as path and then you copy that path in here for the VAE location and click here on update model. After the model has updated, you need to load it again. So if you have already loaded it, load another model and then load the realistic vision version 1.3 model again. After you've done this, I want to highly suggest to you that you go to the model page. You look at these example images here. You see here that you have the prompt, negative prompt and the different settings down here. So you want to use that and then make slight changes to these prompts to play around with them and to learn from them because this will give you amazing results right away. Now down here in the discussion area, you find also other examples from the community. You also can click here on the eye and get their prompt and settings. And you can see already from the pictures you can find here that this model can also create nude pictures. So if you don't want to have that, put NSFW for not safe for work into your negative prompt. And you can see I have done this here. In Invoke AI, if you want to have a negative prompt, you're using these square brackets, pretty important. Now, one thing I also want to point out here is that in Invoke AI, the prompt is often not taken in as much as in Automatic 1111. So the photos here look a lot more realistic and they look a lot more modern. But you can see in this case, it says 45 year old men in wastelander clothes. And that is not really the person we see here in the image. Now with the exact same prompt, negative prompt and settings over an automatic 1111, you can see that the image 
looks also really great, but the photo actually looks like a wastelander, the clothing looks like run down and someone who is sleeping on the streets outside, you can see a wasteland in the background, so the prompting actually works better in Automatic 11.11. I'm looking forward to see your creations in my Facebook group where we have now over 32,000 members. Come in, check it out. Absolutely amazing community. Let me also know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well, um, yeah.